So this is the Mechanical Engineering, Engineering Mechanics Building. Um, this is where Mechanical Engineering Department is based out of, hence the name. Um, this is also the tallest academic building in the Upper Peninsula and the um, tallest or second tallest normal building in the Upper Peninsula. We're second to um, uh, office building in Escanaba. Um, <clears throat> during your first few years, you're going to be pretty spread out through all of campus. Um, but once you get into your senior level classes, you're going to be then in your uh, major specific building. So for mechanical engineering, it is this building. So this room right here, this is our active learning center, um, or more commonly known by students as our fishbowl. This is a really nice room because it doubles as um, a uh, normal classroom and it has three professor stations in the middle. Your professor can use any one of them and then they can also project their uh, screen onto all of the monitors throughout the room. And then also uh, the room is set up into groups of four, so it's really great for group projects. And the computers all have 300 degree swivel, so you can show everybody in your group what's on your screen. Um, then they also have keypads on the tables and you can project your screen onto the monitor above so everybody can see. Uh, when it's not being used as a classroom, it's also an open computer lab for all students. And then we have whiteboards all around the room. Um, and then you can also use whiteboard markers on the windows as well. And then on the other side of the hallway, it's kind of hard to see right now, um, but this room right here is used by our uh, aerospace enterprise group. Uh, this is actually their clean room. So they work on the electronics for their satellites. Um, and this past summer, they actually sent a satellite into space pairing with uh, Na our NASA uh, program. So all of these cases show different senior design projects. Um, when if you're taking an engineering major specifically, you're required to do senior design or enterprise. These are two different programs that have the same basic idea. Um, they are where you're going to be put into a group. Uh, you're either with people in your major or outside of your major, and you're actually going to be working on a project that is typically sponsored by an uh, outside company like Ford, GM, Chrysler, some big name companies. So you can get experience on working on a project. You go through the process of figuring out what the problem is, uh, working with your customer to figure out what the ideal solution is, and then you're actually going to have a real product um, like some of these cases show where you're actually going to have like a physical product that you're giving to your company. This is our engineering learning center. This is located in our mechanical engineering building, but this is offered to all engineering students, not just mechanical engineers. This is a learning center for like the statics, dynamics, all those basic engineering classes that all engineers have to take. Um, we have learning centers like this scattered throughout all of campus, open to students. They're all staffed with learning center coaches who are students who have already taken the classes um, and had to pass it with a B or better. So they actually know the material and are able to help you. A lot of students use this where they'll just come and work on their homework. So then if they have a quick question, there's a learning center coach that can answer it right away rather than having to struggle through their problems or anything like that. This is also where our mechanical engineering advisors are located. Anytime you have a question and their doors are open, you can jump in and ask them, or you can schedule um, different walk-in hours or like an actual uh, meeting time where you can meet with them as well. We also have our mechanical engineering uh, flowchart on this wall right here. Uh, it's a really nice tool. All majors have a flowchart associated with them. And so then it really comes in handy when you're getting ready to schedule your classes. So you know which classes you should have which semesters. And then it also shows your prerequisites and co-requisites. So the classes you have to take before or you can take them at the same time as that class.